Hey guys, this is the GLFW intro tutorial, and it starts off right where the GLFW installation tutorial ends. And so we make sure that our dot profile has the correct library paths, and that our main has the necessary headers. Um, again, only math.h if you're going to be drawing circles. And I'm just going to go through uh, Davina's code here and try and explain to you guys what's going on. Um, and if my explanation is able to provide you with solutions to your problems, then hopefully the heavy commenting is. So, the first thing we have here is the two global constants, float constants, trans x and trans y, and we initialize those at 0, 0.0f, 0, 0.0 float. Um, the trans x and trans y are essentially how much you'll be moving the drawing cursor uh, over each time. Um, these, these numbers represent a percentage of the screen, 1 being 100%, 0 0.1 being 1 tenth, etc. And so that's what we'll be using to translate around the screen and, and redraw the shape in the, in the right place. So our first function here is the initializing of the 3D rendering. Uh, the only thing you need to do in that is call this right there. Um, the next function we have is handle key press. And what this allows you to do is pretty self-explanatory, but up, down, left, and right directional arrows can be used to move the shape that's bouncing around accordingly. And the escape button will exit the, uh, the window, the OpenGL window. And let me start it up and show you guys. Here it is. So down, up, left, right, escape. So, so that's a nice, that's a handy function to have. And let's see. Our next, oh, and, and it does this by just setting the, the trans y equal to, uh, you know, 0.1f and, or for up and down, obviously, you see plus equals 0.1f, minus equals 0.1f for down, uh, plus equals 0.1f on the trans x though, for right, and again, minus equals for the, for left. Um, the next function here is display. Um, the first thing you do in this play function is clear the background screen to black. This is black right here, zero, zero, zero. Um, you erase the last drawing of the object, switch to the drawing perspective, reset that perspective, and then push this into the matrix. So you're going to translate your drawing cursor to where you want it, trans x, trans y and then begin the actual drawing of the square. So GL quads is used to do that. Go ahead, set the color, draw, um, set the four vertices, and end the square drawing. Pop that matrix and swap the buffers. Right there. Um, and last, where it all comes together is the main function. And so you have your bool checking here to make sure that uh, your program is still running. You go ahead and initialize your rendering, uh, set your window height width. Uh, if your window doesn't exist, obviously you terminate it. That's what that is down here. You set your window title. That's pretty easy to do. And GLFW set window size callback. This is what's going to uh, handle the window resize as long as you make sure that its argument is that handle resize function. And GLFW set key callback. And again, make sure your that handle key press function is is the argument here. And that'll handle your up, down, left, and right movement. Um, here's your infinite loop to make sure that uh, keeps drawing the shape and to make sure that you don't go outside of the bounds of the window right there. Um, and of course, make sure it's running. If it is, you're going to continue uh, to set maintain the window and otherwise you're going to close it so and that's it